Well, I think uh, if the travel and tourism industry is not looking into blockchain, uh, the, I mean the big actors, the big corporate, uh, somebody else is going to do it and uh, they will get the business out of it. Why do I think it has a huge impact on travel and, and transportation in general? It's because it is an ecosystem which is surrounded by a lot of different actors. You really have big ecosystem in the travel industry and blockchain makes a lot of sense when you're in an ecosystem. Why? Because you can streamline your processes thanks to blockchain, thanks to automating a lot of stuff that are done manually today. You can automate all of that with blockchain. So today, when you're as a consumer, you're buying a ticket, for example, going to Nice, south of France, to Dubai. Uh, there's one option is that you take Emirates, Nice, Dubai direct, or you can take Air France, Nice, Dubai, and uh, sorry, Nice, CDG, and then CDG, Dubai with Emirates. You're flying two different airlines. Your bag, you're checking it in Nice, and you want to pick it up in Dubai. If your bag gets lost in the way, you're going to ask Air France because you gave your bag to Air France in Nice and you want Air France to take care of your bag. But Air France gave your bag to Emirates and CDG. And Air France doesn't, doesn't have the information of your bag anymore as long as you give it to Emirates. So you as a consumer have to go and ask Emirates for a bag that you gave Air France. With a blockchain where everybody would share that information, you would be able just to query the blockchain and ask directly, where's my bag? And whether it's on Air France, on the CDG airport, with Emirates, or with Dubai airport, you will be able to get that information right away. Well, if we're talking about the different actors of uh, the distribution, you have platform like Winding Tree, which is a startup, which is a, proposing a distribution platform based on a public blockchain, where you're putting hotels uh, inventory, airlines inventory, probably one day car rental inventory and the consumer can just go to this platform and get the whole bundle from all the different providers. So that's how blockchain can, can support. So whenever you're talking about GDPR, you mean that the data, the consumer is allowed to request the data, his personal data to be removed. And if you store that kind of data on a blockchain, you're not able to remove them. So the rule should be, Whatever is personal data should never be stored on a blockchain or on-chain, as we say. You should store that off-chain, and that should be a, a guiding rule for whatever blockchain project you're doing. Never store personal data on-chain.